Hello everyone, welcome you again. This is Raju Mahatu. On my last video, I have shown you how can we use WebView API to load an external website to our page. So continuing with that, so today I am going to show you how can we display an HTML content to any page. So for that, let's add some pro some more property on our web view so let's add background border color for our web view so that we can differentiate with some other ui element from this page so i'm going to make it red and to display the border color i'm going to add border width so i'm going to make it two pixel now to make to add HTML content to that let's make a scenario where we'll click on this web view and on click of this web view we will change the HTML content of this web view to our custom HTML content that we are going to load on it so for that let's add a on click event which we'll use to change the HTML content for that so let's add in function change HTML content or change content that's it now to change the HTML content for this current web view first of all we need to catch this web view so to catch this web view we need to assign a ID for that by which we will got this web view on our controller so let's edit ID called web container now as we have e added an on click event so this function must be defined on the controller related to this view so this is the index.js responsible for this index.xml view so let's add a function for our on click event now let's add an html content so i'm going to define it html content now going to make a html then we need to define the body for this html now i'm going to add some text on this html let's say Welcome to Titanium with Alloy. That's it for defining the HTML content. Now, as I have told you, we need to assign this HTML content to this web view. So, for that, we need to first of all catch that current web view. So for that we have already defined the ID for this web view. So we will call this web view by its ID. So here it is web container. Now to insert or to add any HTML content to any web view, we have a property called HTML. So that's it. And I'm going to assign the HTML content here for this web view. Now let's run it on simulator. As you can see that I have locally made the HTML content here and I have assigned this HTML content 
with the to this web view we can also have a separate html file and we can assign that html file to this web view also so on my next video i will show you how to do that so here it is i have added the border color and the border width so now on click of this web view any portion of this web view the content should get changed with our custom local html content so i am going to cl click on it so here it is i have clicked on it and it's get changed it gets loaded with our custom html content so by this way we can use our custom html content as per our requirement to any web view so up to this for today thanks